So my girl started tripping out, and I started getting these weird phone calls. Finally, I got tired of it. I said, you know what? I don't need this. For, you know, I don't need it. From now on, when I take off on the road, no more phone calls. Look at that guy. Yeah. Are you here by yourself? <laughs> Whatever, dude. Anyway, here's the thing. I took my girl to the Apple store, and I got her an iPhone. I got myself one, and I said, from now on, we're texting each other. And believe it or not, she was cool with that because anytime she would send me a text, I would reply like that. I could be anywhere, freaking in the bathroom, freaking cling. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm blowing it up. I love you, Sam. And she'd reply, oh my God, me too. I love you. It sounds so stupid, but it was working out perfectly until one night I got drunk. Oh, you want to hear this? You want to hear this? So check this out. I'm leaving a comedy club in San Jose, California, and I'm walking back to my hotel room, which is one block away. As I'm walking, I pass in front of this bar on the corner called Cine Bar. It's got all kinds of cinema and movie memorabilia in there. It looks cool. I'm walking in front, and there are people in that bar that just left my show. So I walk in front, and I heard, Fluffy, hey, let me buy you a shot. I was like, well, you know, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> can't have that right <laughs> so I walked in I said what's it you know I'm on my way back to my room I just do a couple shots whatever so you know one shot and then somebody me too all right me too Vamonos, let's do it <laughs> me three me four 15 shots of tequila later <laughs> it occurs to me I think I should go I start walking towards the door. I took three steps. The cold air hit me. I got dizzy and I fell hard. I know I fell hard because when I hit the ground, I farted. <laughs> oh my God, I farted. My buddy Martin ran over and he helped me up off the ground. You okay, you okay? We stumble back to the hotel room. I sit down in the lobby and I'm just like, are you okay, Gabriel? I'm okay, man. Where's my phone? I gotta let my girl know I'm okay. You're holding it. Oh, thank you, Martin. I love you. I love you. You're a good friend, man. You're a good friend. He goes, what are you doing? I'm a text. Dude, just call her. No! If I call her, she's gonna know something's up. I'm gonna text her. Watch. Baby, I made it back to the hotel. I love you. Kissy face. Send. How did it go? <laughs> I farted. <laughs> I shouldn't tell her that, huh, Martin? Okay. It went good. Send. Cling. What did you do after your show? Oh, here we go. <laughs> My buddy Martin is like, Gabriel, man, Gabriel, don't tell her, don't tell her you're at a bar getting drunk, man. Don't tell her. Martin, I have to tell her the truth, bro. <laughs> We're cool like that, man. I can talk to her. I could, I could tell her anything, man. She's not like your old lady, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Tripping all the time. Hey, Martin, take the pictures of the cochina off the internet. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Forgive me, bro. <laughs> Gabriel, lie. I can't lie, man. Lie. I can't lie. Are you that honest? No, I just won't remember the lie. <laughs> well, I get in trouble two times for the same stupid thing. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> so I sent the message. Baby, I made it. Oh, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> Baby, I went next door with Martin to Cine Bar. Had a nice time. Kissy face, kissy face. Kissy face. <laughs> Send. Cling. Lucky you. Wish I could have been there with you. Tell Martin I said hi. I love you. <gasps> oh, my God. Martin, I just told my girlfriend I was at a bar with you and she didn't get mad. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> Man, she told me to tell you hi. And she don't even like you. So I scroll back to read what she read, and apparently my stupid iPhone has this memory spell check feature, and it didn't recognize the word Cine Bar. It flipped it and turned it into Cinnabon. 
So apparently at 10 o'clock at night, my girlfriend thought I was having cinnamon rolls with my friend Martin. Which normally would sound like an ugly lie, but considering her boyfriend is known as the fluffy guy who loves chocolate cake, it sounds real. I was like, oh my God, Martin, check it out. My iPhone lied for me. I love you, iPhone. Blackberry can't do that. A month later, my girlfriend heard me tell the story, and she's like, that's a funny joke. I go, it really happened. How come you didn't tell me? I said, the phone didn't let me. <laughs> and her friends are right there. See, he's also getting wasted. Suddenly you messed up Texas. Whatever, shut up, haters.